Hi everyone! So I know this is not my usual content, but I ordered a Depop style mystery bundle thing. Depop style. My sister's there. So. <laughs> so I ordered a Depop mystery style bundle thing on Depop because I was really curious about it. And I've seen a lot of people try it out on TikTok or YouTube and do reviews, except all of them were usually from America and I'm Canadian. Because there are less sellers creating style bundles in Canada, especially at an affordable price, it was a lot harder to find something that I was interested in. But I did end up buying one. <sighs> Ta-da! Here's a big box of stuff and I'm ready to unbox it. So I will be trying on the pieces. I'll be reviewing each one. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Hopefully it's worth it. First, I'll give some information about the bundle itself. Depop, for some reason, is not loading for me right now, but I believe that the bundle in total was $82. It was $60 plus $22 shipping. And the post said that you should receive three to four tops, three to four bottoms, and I think it was two to three accessories. I'll put a screenshot here in the video so you can see the accurate listing here. But I say that it's a really good deal, right? Like if you divide $82 by, I think it's around 10 pieces or even just eight pieces, that's only like $10 per piece, so. I'll also link the seller and the listing down in the description box and the seller's account I'll put over here. So this is one of those sellers that would show you pictures of items before they actually send it out. So I know that some sellers like to keep it a complete secret, but for this one, I actually saw all of the items already and I got to give feedback on whether I liked the items or not. So depending on whether you want your mystery style bundle to be a complete surprise or whether you like to know exactly what you're getting, just keep that in mind if you want to buy from this seller. Now I don't know exactly what the seller ended up going with. I'm pretty sure I have a rough idea of what I'm going to be seeing in here, but it will be confirmed in a second. So the time it took for her to put together the style bundle was roughly one week and it took about three days to ship to get here. So it was actually really fast, especially for a style bundle. I have a suspicion that this seller was just using old clothes that they hadn't sold or been able to sell and then trying to create a st style bundle from it because realistically that's the only way that you could keep the price of the bundle so low. And because it only took a week to put together, in fact, the seller actually sent me photos of items already already one day after I had bought the listing. So I'm pretty sure that she already had a bunch of clothes laying around that she was trying to get rid of. If you do see low prices, there's probably a reason for it. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the fun part, actually unboxing. So, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh gosh, how do I do that? Whoa, I hope I didn't cut any clothes because that'd be really bad. <laughs> Shoot, I forgot to say something. I forgot to mention that she had asked for a Pinterest board, things that I either liked or didn't like, any other information, as well as all of my measurements. I had sent her my Pinterest board, which I'll show a screen recording of over here. So that's the type of style that I wanted for this style bundle. We'll see if she encapsulated that correctly or not. Okay, got it! Voila! What is the first thing we have in store? First, we've got this little satin gold-like cami. I think I like it. I think it could work for a lot of pieces just for layering. I'll bring it a bit closer. I like the material. It looks very pretty. However, it does look a little big for me. I don't know if it's gonna fit me the way that I want it to, but we'll see. Okay, my suspicions were correct. This is much too big for me. I mean, it's nice. It's definitely in very, very good condition, but it just sadly doesn't fit me. So I don't know if I can tailor this somehow or maybe wear like a collared blouse underneath it in order for it to fit. If I could crop it like this, I don't know. I'm gonna rate this piece 6 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 if it fit me, but because it doesn't fit, can't really wear it. 
Next up, we've got this bag. You know what? I like this bag. I don't have a brown bag. I think a brown leather bag is timeless. It's a bigger size. A lot of my bags right now are very small. So I need something a bit on the larger side, which is good. Let's... Okay. I can see myself rocking this, you know, kind of feel like a mom sometimes. Again, this is in pretty good condition. I don't see any flaws. There's no flaws from what I can tell, except just a little bit of, just a little bit of wear on the straps. Inside, also good condition. There are no stains whatsoever. I'm gonna rate this bag an eight out of 10. It's not like I'm dying to love it. It's not like I'm screaming my head off saying, oh my gosh, this is great. But I do like it and I think it's gonna go with really any outfit I wear. All right, I know what this is because I remember seeing this in the text message and I really liked it. It is this cute little dress. Cute. Oh my gosh, it is very, it oh my God. Big. But this looks very big. Oh no. Yeah, this is not going to fit me. Not gonna lie, the first two pieces that I've pulled out both look way too big for me and I'm starting to wonder whether the seller really knew what my measurements looked like. I'm pretty, pretty certain that this is going to be way too big for me. Overall item number three, but clothing item number two, yeah, way too big for me. I already tightened the straps all the way because when I didn't adjust the straps at all, it was like hanging down here. The pattern is really cute. I love the color. Oh my God, I love the lace. I love the style, but the size just doesn't fit me. So this is what it looks like on me. I guess if you wanted to go for like a flowy look, then it would work, but I prefer like bodycon dresses, especially if they're in like this slip dress style. Maybe if I wear a belt like this, someone let me know if I can make this work because I really do like the style. So I'm gonna rate this one uh, five out of 10. The fit is just not it. The fit just ruins it for me, sadly. I really was so ready to love it, but it just wasn't there for me. If I can somehow fix it and make the fit work, then it's going to go all the way up to like a 10 out of 10. I'm a little nervous for the next clothing item now. Will we find something that actually properly fits me besides accessories today? That is the goal. Let's go with the bottom this time. Let's take a look at this one. I was also excited for this one, but it is a different material than I was expecting. I was expecting something like a light sheer material because that's what it looked like in the photo, but it actually turns out to be wool. There's also a bunch of hair on this one, which is kind of um, a turn off. No one likes to see a bunch of hair on their clothing. I'm not sure if it's human hair or cat hair. All right, so this skirt actually kind of fits me. It sits more near my hips, not my waist, because it is a size two and I'm usually size zero, but it does fit. It's like a midi skirt and I think that it looks pretty cute actually. I'm pretty happy with this one. I think that it's going to be really cute in the fall, in the winter. Give it a little spin. <laughs> My bed is creaking so... <laughs> the only issue I have with this one is that the zipper was very hard to pull up and if you can see here, the lining on the inside has ripped apart from the outer layer. So the condition on this one is honestly not as good as I was expecting. But so far, I'm going to rate this one um, seven out of 10, because the fit was actually on the good side this time. And the style I also really like. It's just that the material was different and the condition was not as good and it also came covered in lots of human hair. I want to feel confident that my clothes are hygienic and clean and hair on the piece of clothing just doesn't really send that message across, you know? But overall, I do like it still. So we're starting to go uphill, I hope. We had good luck with a bottom piece, so let's continue that trend and go with another bottom piece. Hopefully that means we'll like it again and it'll actually fit. Okay, I remember these ones as well. Oh boy, these are gonna be too short on me, I think. 
Okay, I do not think I am going to like the fit of these. These are Levi's, so you know that it is a high quality brand, but I think that this says the length is 25 inseam, and I had specifically told her that I wanted 27 inch inseam or higher. So I think that these are going to be too short for my liking. So if you couldn't tell, I am not wearing those jeans because they do not fit me. But actually this time it's not because they're too large, it's because they were way too tight. This says that it is a waist 25, but it is so tight. I could not even get it up past the middle of my thighs. And guess what? These are skinny jeans. They are skinny jeans, which is really odd to me because in the Pinterest board that I sent her, there was not a single picture of anyone wearing skinny jeans in them. All of the jeans were loose styles. And she had even sent me another pair of jeans originally to which I had replied saying that I do like loose baggy jeans. That's the style that I like, but those ones were just a bit too loose for my liking. And then I guess she just thought that meant I didn't want loose at all, <laughs> and she just went straight to skinny jeans. These are a hard pass. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to rate it two out of 10. I'm only still giving it a two because the color is like a sage green, which is a nice color. And again, the quality is very good. The condition is excellent, but I just really don't like this piece. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the tops now. A button down blouse. This one looks quite pretty. It's like a pajama style top, but I think you could really dress this up or down. The patterns on it look very nice. The collar is super pretty. This looks promising. I'm gonna try this on. I'm too lazy to button the rest of the buttons up, but I think that this one is very cute. It is too large on me, but I don't mind that when it comes to blouses like this. It gives you a very cool oversized look, and it's really easy to just layer under things as well. I just really like the pattern of this and the scalloped collar is also definitely a win a plus for me no flaws from what I can tell I would rate this piece like an 8 out of 10 it's not like I'm dying out of love for it but I do like it and I think that it's really versatile and it's going to go well with a lot of things so solid piece we have one top left so it is this one. Again, it's one of those tops for layering. Just a simple black collar bodysuit that you can layer under things. This one, again, has hair on it. If you can see that, which is a turn off. It makes me feel like they didn't wash it or didn't clean it before they packaged it. Nothing really special about this piece. It just looks like a basic black bodysuit. I mean, I don't have something like this, so it's good for layering. Probably layering under dresses, um, under sweaters, under sweater vests. But am I really excited about it? Not really, but I'm not mad about it. I think that it's still something that I needed. So I'll give it an eight out of 10. It shapes me well, but I guess that's what a bodysuit is supposed to do. Okay, and we're finishing off with two accessories. So she had given me these two necklaces, which I do like a lot. These are the two necklaces. They're very pretty, I think, and they look good with stuff. I told her that I had preferred gold jewelry because I already have a lot of silver. It looks like she listened because it's gold, so yay. Okay, these necklaces, I am feeling. I like these necklaces a lot. They're very nice. Okay, my final verdict. Would I recommend this mystery style bundle? Unfortunately, no. A lot of the pieces did not fit me correctly, and some of the pieces I feel as though the seller should have known that I wouldn't have liked just based on my Pinterest board and the other extra information that I had told them. This piece was way too small. This dress was way too big on me. This tank top was also too big on me. I feel like just based on the measurements that I gave the seller, they should have known I was an extra small or extra extra small. I believe I even told them in my messages that I usually wear the smallest size available in any clothing store. And I understand that getting the perfect fit is really hard for someone who's not yourself to do. But I just feel like the sizing of these three pieces were 
far too off for it to have been acceptable. There were some pieces that I did like, of course. For example, this white blouse here, the one with the very nice pattern and the scalloped collar. Also this plaid skirt. I'm definitely going to wear this. This bag, these necklaces, as I said, spot on. I really like the necklaces, but I don't feel as though it has gotten exactly what I was looking for. Overall, there is still a sense of the style that I wanted in here. I think there are items in here that the seller definitely has gotten right but I do feel a little bit disappointed. Now, maybe I'm being too harsh because this is my first Depop mystery style bundle ever. So maybe other people have had worse experiences than me. I'm still grateful that the seller put all of this together. If any of you are still interested in trying it out, by all means, go ahead and support the seller. It's still always good to look for local businesses or small sellers to support. As I said before, her page and the link to the posting will be in the description box. Thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions about the style bundle or my communication with the seller or one of these items, you can drop those comments down below. If there are any other Depop mystery style bundles that you want me to try out and review, you can leave the information down in the comments and perhaps I will purchase another one. All right, bye.